reductions. Mark Bloomfield is an analyst with the American Council for Capital Formation in Washington. I asked him first how the markets are reacting to the prospect of a default. I think they're jittery, and there's a question, of course, how much they've already included this uh, in their uh, uh, market evaluations. But they're a heck of a lot jittier than they were, let's say, a week or so ago. Um, If it is so dangerous, if it is causing such anxiety, if it is causing the International Monetary Fund uh, to call for a resolution of this dispute, uh, why are the politicians going so close to the edge? I think there's a very fundamental point here, and that is all democracies worldwide uh, may not be able to deal with fundamental economic problems. That's what is emerging right now, whether it be in the EU, Greece, Italy, or even the United States. So it goes beyond uh, differences between Republicans and Democrats. Uh, But there is uh, an ideological edge, is there not, to the dispute going on in the United States at the moment? Yes, one can call it an ideological edge. I would call it more a basic debate, which will come forth in the 2012 election, about how large uh, government should be in the economy. And one can phrase it another way. As the pastor rightly said, uh, we need a social safety net. But to get a social safety net, we need economic growth. Uh, it doesn't, you don't have the ability to take care of people unless you have a strong economy. And people differ. Uh, it's not ideological, I hope, for everybody about how to get that growth going. And uh, that is the fundamental disagreement at the moment. I think it is, um, with, um, with uh, Republicans uh, basically saying uh, um, don't increase taxes in the short term because now the economy is so weak, uh, and, and uh, d- Democrats saying let's go back to the New Deal and increase uh, spending. That's the short-term problem. But the fundamental problem is, uh, is the uh, <clears throat> large size of debt throughout the world is a percentage of the gross national product. For example, in the United States, uh, It'll, debt will be the equivalent of our economy in 10 years and in 25 years, twice the economy. And one cannot continue to sustain economic growth with that basic contradiction. Um, is America really going to default on its debts on August the 2nd? And, and if so, what, what would be the consequences of that? Well, uh, the, the best answer is to go to a, a great uh, a British statesman, uh, Winston Churchill, who said America tries everything else, and when that fails, somehow they, I'm paraphrasing it, they are able to solve the problem. I think what you can realistically perhaps see is a short-term extension of the debt ceiling, the ability to, um, to borrow. Uh, That debt ceiling, uh, in a very complicated way, may force uh, Obama to do it three times uh, before the election. But we basically extend the ability of the United States government to borrow, and then we have a big debate uh, on Election Day, which is what the election will be about in next year. So we punch, we kick the can down. That was Mark Bloomfield, an analyst with the American Council for Capital.